Hello everyone, my name is Babak and in this video I'm going to show you how we can create an application for sentimental analysis using neural network. So let's get started. For this video I created one Jupyter notebook that can show how we can deploy the model and also another Jupyter notebook that can show how we can use uh, the existing model that is developed in the production level. So let's get started. So firstly, we have to install TensorFlow and also it's good to have a decent data set for training so we can use TensorFlow data set, which is pretty fine model that has lots of data sets available for TensorFlow. I recommend you to use it. So I have to set up the TensorFlow and data set that we wanted. And in this case, I'm calling the INDB review as a supervised learning. So I need a label as well, and I assign to the IMDB as a data set. So let's assign it. And we can see what is would be inside our data set. It's the Gibson dictionary that has test, train, and unsupervised. Test and train, we can see there's the two sort of the data sentence and label. So we're going to call them with one function that we can create and then set up the data. And also, when we are dealing with the text, it might have a lots of character or a special character like that, say, even HTML tag. So it's good to remove those characters. I created this function that you can use using beautiful stuff to remove all that the special character that is dealing with HTML, like HTML tags or whatever you have. So you can use it that I created here. Here we can see what is inside the data set and we want to create a train and test data sets by calling this dictionary function line by line as a sentence and label will be added to the list that we have here and then reshape them to the NumPy array. So our data set is created right now, and we can see we have a test and train. And let's see what we have here. I created one dictionary that represents zero as a negative and one as a positive. And we wanted to see for first four sentence and the review for our train data set. We can see the first one negative, negative, positive, and negative. Now we have to create one tokenizer and some predefined modeling or pre-processing for our text mining to create the application and translate this word to the number for our neural network. So for predefining and pre-processing for the text to the number that we readable for our neural network, we have to do some processing. First of all, select appropriate number of the vocabulary or word that we need to work with that because we have a lots of content and lots of sentences that they are not have a value for our sentimental analysis or index classification. We have to find appropriate word that we basically we call it as bag of knowledge or vocabulary size. And also we need appropriate length of that sentence. We can see we have a different length and neural network basically has a window. So we have certain we have to work with the certain size of the window that we pack it here as a maximum length. So we need to truncate the sentence based on the word that we have, or if the sentence is smaller than our maximum length, we add the padding. So uh, we said we have a 10,000 word as a known word that model is going to deal with them. And we have also two additional word with the index of zero and one. Zero would be our padding and the out of word in the vocabulary or the new word we translate with the one. And we have a setting size of the 200 word for each sentence that we are dealing with. We call the tokenizer and the pack sequence from TensorFlow pre-processing tense and sequence to analyze this word and create our dictionary. And then 
we again we call it tokenizer the number of the word that we created here add the vocabulary or out of tokens data that we have here we call it translate with the one character that we can work with that we understand what does it mean out of vocabulary word and then we can also add another filter we already filtered the or special character here that we can see nothing inside there but let's again for safety we can add one more filter if you don't want the use of the special character using beautiful sub or something that we created here we can just use for pencil fellow to do the job depend of you if you would like you can use this filter if not we can bypass it it's the tokenizer with our training sentence so the model will be trained itself with the training sentence and then we applied this one as a tokenizer word index to get a dictionary of the index of the word as the word index and then we trans the sequence of tokenizer using this word of index and add the padding to the training data as the last testing data once we created this one we can see how these two function actually working so let's copy a part of the sentence to see what exactly going to happen when we run our tokenizer function so it would be some something like this here the problem is that something 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 onto here we copy one sentence and we add let's draw as a test function here test variable paste it as a new sentence and we apply the tokenizer and apply the padding and we wanted to see what's going there so the first one the first line shows that the original sentence translates the word that we have you can see all been indexed based off the vocabulary size that we had and then added padding see if the word is not inside the vocabulary size what's going to happen let's see and call this is a new word so definitely this is not a new word because this is not a word so you can see when we added the index would be one this is the out of vocabulary size word that we have we added the neural network didn't know what does it mean so it's replaced as a one so uh we also wanted to have to save the tokenizer model that we created here for production level so we pack it and save it as a pickle files using we're going to create our neural network but always have to good to have one callback function or monitoring function to see when the model is supposed to stop the training because we have a number of the epoch and sometimes the model will be overfitted so always you have some function let's see with the accuracy and say okay let's try and monitor our epoch to see if the model passed accuracy after 95 percent we want to stop it and say okay reach the destination stop and not work anymore so we create one callback function and the model that we created i created a very basic sequential model add the embedding layer with the, the embedding layer architecture with the vocabulary size the embedding dimensions with the dimension that shows that how the word can clusters together to see the the word the positive or negative and how the word is connected together you can have a different dimension we already added 16 as a embedding dimension that we have that we call here and input lens would be the 200 and then after that we created one convolutional one dimension convolutional neural network we can have a multiple one dimension convolution neural network because they are one platinum layer so we need one dimension not two or three dimensions so we work with this one cnn always good to see how it's working and the kernel size street and the padding would be the same thing because we change the padding we need add them 
and then we normalizing the convolution neural network and at the max pooling to drop out the layer and then we need to flat this layer together and then add the dense layer after that to have a logistic regression or sigmoid function you see because we have a two class positive or negative we use the base sigmoid function so we use of the sigmoid activation layer and also we use of the loose for binary uh, classification and also for Adam as optimizer. The matrix for evaluation for accuracy, we can add a multiple matrix as we wanted. For example, you need the AUC, you want to have a fun score, recall, sensitivity. They are already added in the TensorPro cross matrix that whatever you want you can add here if you want you can use up a different line of the matrix but i want to just have accuracy for evaluation and testing so we add accuracy so the model summarization would be here we can see how many dense layers do we have and how many training model that we have we already scored is not bad so we can work for that if you wanted you can add a multiple layer like that the lstm recurrent neural network or just add multiple dense layer or what you want you can add and increase expanding the neural network the neural network the, the power of using neural networks means that you can expand it as much as you like but how many neural do, do we need the more complex model, we have more complexity, and sometimes we overfit the model. So let's see with basic model what we can do. We said number of epochs to 500, but also we activate the callback function that we already added here. And so if the neural in epoch 1, 2, 3, or n, is rich destination and accuracy for training would be 95 percent please stop it so we hope that we can stop before reach to 500 so let's see what's going to happen here started we already reached the destination for 95 percent and we can see at the three part we stop for the better model definitely we need a more complex model and more training but it's good right now so we create a model what we can do save it it's always good to save the model so let's see how our model can deal with the new sentence that we give it to the model so we create one function that is add the tokenizer and padding sentence here as the text converter so let's try to see two different review from one series let's see if we get for example for the friends i searched for the friends tv show that one of my favorite show ever that i love it and still know how someone can say the friends is not good but you can see first first review is mentioned um, you can see the models you can see the same pattern sentences here we run the model we can see as padded sentences here and evaluated we can say okay we have a negative review for this sentence but on the other side you can see someone's here wow it's the best thing that ever happened to my life it's like me someone's like a friend and we can see here so let's try it you can see the model is predicted that it is a positive review so wow Reach the destination, created the sentimental analysis. 